The place runs itself, mate. Just sit in there, have a few laughs, and uh, let the cash roll in. Oh, what you done to your hands? Elaine Peacock, new landlady at the Vic. I don't think we met. But you know who I am. Don't you, Vinny? I, uh, I got into some trouble at a party and I had to defend myself. That's all. Well, nice, bro. Let me last you a fortnight. Freddy must be a miracle worker. Yes, he is the little naked engine that could. Thanks, Lewis. You seem very defensive. What exactly do you think I'm accusing you of? Nothing. I, uh, I've got to go. Elaine. <laughs> I, um, I hope I didn't give you the wrong impression earlier, you know, with what I said. You only confirm I already knew. Um, the Panazars are our landlords and they keep putting up the rent and well, you saw what happened this morning. I blamed them. And so I was trying to stir up trouble. But the truth is that Nish is actually quite a decent bloke and Vinny, he wouldn't harm a fly. Vinny trashed my pub with my little grandchildren asleep inside. You don't have any evidence of that. I think if the police had found anything, Vinny would be in a cell by now. I just think it's stirring up bad blood. It's probably the last thing Linda needs, you know, with everything that's happened. Thank you. Okay. Seems we're not the only one got beef with that family. Northern lady, short hair, horrible apron, smells of bacon. Eve. Well, she's playing some angle, just don't know what it is. How many times? I am sick of hearing about this. I am looking out for you, Ollie and Annie. That is why you asked me here, isn't it? As backup. That is not why I asked you here, Mum. <sighs> You're really not going to mention him, are you? Mick? Remember him? I don't think I've heard his name out of your mouth since you got here. Of course I remember him. Then stop acting like a dog with a bone over things that don't matter and let's start talking about what's really been going on around here. 